Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. Uh, money is a good thing. If you want to buy new things, new rockets, instead of keep doing the same thing over, well, then it's going to cost more money. And other things need more money too. So having achieved what the president wanted us to do, and then what thousands, millions of people in America, and millions of people around the world. You know, when we toured around the world after we came back, the most fascinating observation as we, was signs that said, we did it. Not just us, not just America, but we, the world, different country, they felt they were part of what we were able to do. And that made us feel very good. Mm. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? Because we didn't go there and and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. Money. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and we didn't go there, and... Because we didn't go there, and... And that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. In the campaign, Vice President Pence promised that our administration, because Mike's very much into space, would revive the National Space Council. And with this executive order, we're keeping that promise. I feel very strongly about it. I felt strongly about it for a long time. I used to say, before doing what I did, I used to say, what happened? Why aren't we moving forward? Today's announcement sends a clear signal to the world that we are restoring America's proud legacy of leadership in space. Our Vice President cares very deeply about space policy. And for good reason, space exploration is not only essential to our character as a nation, but also our economy and our great nation's security. Our travels beyond the Earth propel scientific discoveries that improve our lives in countless ways here, right here at home. Powering vast new industries, spurring incredible technology, and providing the space security we need to protect the American people. And security is going to be a very big factor with respect to space and space exploration. At some point in the future, we're going to look back and say, how did we do it without space? The Vice President will serve as the Council's Chair. Several representatives of my administration will join him, including Secretaries of State, Defense, Commerce, Transportation, and Homeland Security. The Chairman 
of the great. I'll tell you, he's doing a fantastic job, always working, always fighting and winning. Winning big against ISIS, that I can tell you, seeing what's happening there. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The National Security Advisor, NASA, and the Director of National Intelligence. The human soul yearns for discovery by unlocking the mysteries of the universe. We unlock truths within ourselves. That's true. Our journey into space will not only make us stronger and more prosperous, but will unite us behind grand ambitions and bring us all closer together. Wouldn't that be nice? Can you believe that space is going to do that? I thought politics would do that. Well, we'll have to rely on space instead.